And joining us right now to discuss the possibility of getting off the state's watch list and also uh, another letter sent up to Sacramento. Well, we have a candidate for the 50th congressional district seat, Amar Campanajar, joining us this morning. Good morning, Amar. Nice to have you on. Good morning. Nice to be with you again. So you sent a letter up to Sacramento specifically addressed to Governor Gavin Newsom. Uh, what was the letter about? That's right. Uh, last week, I was at a Ramona rally where a bunch of small businesses were complaining about the lack of clarity of what will happen if businesses are allowed to be taken off that watch list and resume. And the way I see it is our business community, our county has fulfilled its end of the bargain. We've reduced cases uh, for every 100,000 people for the past 14 days. Bridge That should take us off the watch list. We fulfilled our end of the bargain. The government of California has not. And the fact is, if we're being coming, where businesses ask, how do we even follow these guidelines? That there's no, you know, um, clarification on how to play by the rules. Doing the right thing isn't rewarded. Doing the wrong thing isn't rewarded. That creates a crisis in government trust. So I asked the governor to give us clear guidelines to allow us to open back to phase two, which would include opening up uh, indoor dining, houses of worship, gyms, and everything that we did before we were on the watch list. It's really important that people feel like they could trust their government. And I've talked to business owners who are literally, Liz, days, days from completely being in financial ruin. They can't afford to wait any longer. And the fact that the governor doesn't have any plans on how we're going to reopen here in this county after being removed on the watch list is really concerning. Yeah, you know, and, you know, and we are waiting, as you know, yesterday, uh, the county announced that uh, we have had, what, three consecutive days now with cases uh, under 100 per 100,000 people. And as long as that continues, well, we're now basically waiting to hear back from the state to see if we can start relaxing some of those uh, restrictions. Um, you know, ha during this whole process, Amar, have you seen there be a lot of unnecessary red tape coming from leadership in California? I mean, and I, I ask you this and I pose you this because you are a uh, Democratic candidate, right, for the congressional district. So, you know, it's not very common that we have a Democratic candidate kind of not in agreement with our Democratic leadership up in Sacramento. Um, but is that clearly how you feel? Like you just have not seen this process be as fair as perhaps it, it should be? Look, uh, party leaders might tell me where to sit, but I know where I stand, and I will always stand about the partisan politics to me. And obviously, as a business owner, I think it's clearly uh, a double standard, right? They asked us to comply to follow the guidelines that they provided us when we were put on the watch list. And now they have no mechanism to take us off of the watch list. The guidelines that we need to be able to resume business under phase two, which allows certain businesses to do indoor dining, houses of worship and other things like that, like gyms, it makes no sense that they don't have the, the right guidelines to take us off that list. And that's because of the bureaucracy, red tape, and the lack of government preparedness. It's unfair to small businesses to have to shoulder these burdens and then our government doesn't do its responsibility because it's caught up in the bureaucracy in Sacramento. So I do think there's some unnecessary red tape. And my hope is if in 14 consecutive days from now, we reach our goal to resume school, that we have established guidelines to resume school if we reach that safe benchmark. And I hope we don't have the same problem affecting businesses, affecting our students. There are so many kids in my district who have learning disabilities and autism and virtual, you know, they can't study through Zoom. They need to be in a classroom. So I really hope that we learn from this experience. And when it comes time to open up schools safely because we've met the benchmarks, we don't get hassled by the red tape and the bureaucracy and the lack of government preparedness coming from Sacramento, small business owner myself. 
Amar, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us this morning about your efforts to reopen uh, San Diego businesses as well as schools. Amar Campanajar, uh, again, running for the 50th Congressional District. Of course, he faces uh, Daryl Issa in November, uh, who is also on the ticket. We appreciate your time, Amar. We had a little uh, audio glitch there and leave it to technology. It happens sometimes, but uh, we appreciate it. Thank you.